Hi, I would like to talk today a little bit about forgiveness. Let me read first a uh, few verses in the Bible. Um, let's go to M Matthew. Let's, go, let's start with Mark. Mark uh, 11, verse 25 and 26, it says this, Mark 11. And whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also, who is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, who is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. And then let's go to, um, to Matthew, uh, Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15 for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses well, those two passages are very similar, but what they really speak about, they speak about, about forgiveness and actually about joy of our salvation. If you don't believe that you are forgiven, you, can, you cannot truly rejoice in your salvation. If there's some some area in your life that you know you're not right with God, your salvation is is uh, you you don't lose your salvation, but your rejoicing over it is very much suppressed. You struggle with assurance. You struggle with joy. And, and you hold a lot of um, difficulties in your heart regarding your state uh, and your relationship with, with the Father, with God. So, you see, just like any other sin, when we are in a sin, you become slave to sin and and we we can get very much oppressed by the by the situation that we are in by the sin in our life and when we hold grudges towards somebody when we cannot forgive somebody even the worst thing someone did to us, if we hold them accountable and, and don't forgive them, what really happens is we become slaves to, to this feeling. We become slaves to this bitterness of our heart. And we cannot rejoice with, with salvation of our God. Uh, and also, we, we sin against God, so we destroy relationship between our Father and between us, His children. So holding the bitterness in our heart is very much damaging to ourselves. So when someone cannot forgive the other person, this this someone is pretty much hurting himself or herself so my suggestion is don't hold any bitterness in your heart don't hold anybody uh, accountable for for what they did to you just forgive them let them deal with God 
because they will. God will count them account, uh, will hold them accountable for what they did to you. But you let it go. You let it be the way that Christ forgave you. Your trespasses were way more greater than anyone's trespasses towards you. And Christ died for you. Jesus Christ forgave you. He, been, being without sin, took your sins upon himself and died on a cross for you. And there was no sin greater than his grace and mercy. So be like him. This is this is part of being being. This is part of being uh, a Christian. Is to deny yourself and become, uh, you know, uh, becomes Christ-centered, not self-centered. So this is uh, my thought, and I hope you you benefit from that. Thank you. God bless you.